Hello, Cyphers community, and welcome back to another World Dance Cost of Hell. So, in this video, I'm going to be playing on Ruinberg with my 10 shot autoloader Bulldog. So, featuring Ruinberg because it's a returning map, and you may have seen this map before multiple times because right now the map is flooding the map rotation because it's a brand new map, well, a returning map, and they want to see how people play on it and stuff like that. So anyway, so I'm just going to be playing my 10-shot Bulldog on Remembered. And now, the 10-shot Bulldog is a premium tank. It used to be the Tech Tree tank. Um, used to the M41 Bulldog uh, World War II tank that is now a Tier 8 American Light tank. It used to be a Tier 7 American Light tank, but with a 10-shot autoloader gun. And they removed it with the tier 9 and tier 10 light tanks came into the game and light tanks got reworked and their matchmaking got reworked so they took the gun out for some strange reason bumped it up a tier and yeah and people didn't want it back and i was like a huge supporter of the 10 shot bulldog and so they brought it back also it they did have it in war story so if anybody remembers war story so that was the only place you could play the 10 shot bulldog. So now we have it as a premium, the T41E1. What a cool, a pretty nice skin. Bulldog is fast and it has good damage. So anyway, Ruinberg. Um, right now it's an encounter match and this is how you play Ruinberg in a light tank. You kind of play this ridge line and trying to, you play the ridge line Kind of like Brufka, where you want to play the ridge line as a light tank. Try to spot as many tanks as you can and keep them lit up for your allies to shoot and artillery. And whenever you can, try to put some shots into them. And with my Bulldog, with this match, I was trying to prioritize like the light tanks and the artillery. Or any tank I could get a kill on and knock, out, knock it out of the match while I was trying to keep my hit points. And so far, I got the tank. There are tier ten, eight light tank killed. Uh, there's the MX 1375. So the there's the play I'm going to be making later, and it's also here's a vanguard, a rushing vanguard. And this is one of the reasons I like the ten shot auto loader, and because you just have so many shells, and it allows you to do so much. You're doing 170 damage per shot, 173 standard penetration and 210 on its premium. Aim time is 1.8, enter cliff reload, it's two seconds. Accuracy is 0.36, and I believe the entire clip to reload is 28.5 seconds stock. But when you do have it fully loaded, when you do have it fully loaded, now, let's, now look what I'm doing right here. Right here, I am looking at all the tanks that are over there and looking at all their health. And now the 10 shot auto loader bulldog, since 170 damage, 10 shots, a lot of them are really low on health or half health. That means I can kill this vanguard right here, kill the vanguard, and probably just rush over since there's only three tanks over here and clip them all out. So the vanguard says, here's the patriot, put one shot, two shot. It's really important I don't miss any of these shots, but it's fine if I do. Patriot's dead. Here comes the Reaper. I miss a shot. Put one to him. And the second one. And that's how easily the 10 shot Bulldog can kill a flank. Take over a flank. And I play this match perfectly. Um, spawning the mid ridge and pushing over when the opportunity came to push over. And I count a lot of my hit points knocked out all their light tanks and hello artillery. So reload and just pump out shells. Boom, boom. And I don't even have to look at. Put three shots into the artillery. Dreadnought's the more scary of the two tanks and also it's a lower health. So focus on the dreadnought. That shell managed to bounce because space armor and dreadnought. Dreadnought actually aimed at me for a second, so I pulled back so the Dreadnought would miss its shell if it fired. 
since the Dreadnought has terrible accuracy, or try to give it myself a little leeway if it does hit me. High explosive will get absorbed in the track and won't penetrate, but will still do damage. Anyway, a little tip there. Here's the VK-100-01, and there's a turret. So yeah, there goes a flying turret. Anyway, um, yeah, Rainburg's a nice map. It's a nice city, open map. Kind of reminds you of Prescott and Himmelsdorf all combined into one. Himmelsdorf and the hills, I mean, and the buildings, and Prescott in the open area. Anyway, that's it for this video. Remember, like, comment, and subscribe. Also, remember, it's fish because of not, and peace out. See ya.